Hey there, this is Akshay Madan and welcome back to part 3 of complete pandas tutorial and in this part we are going to see some of the data frame functions. So what is a data frame that we have already seen in part 2. Now we are going to see some functions of this data frame, right? So first of all, I'm going to import pandas as pd, right? So pd is an object of this pandas library. Perfect. Now I'm going to call my CSV file. I'm going to read my CSV file and I'm going to store the data into a data frame. That is a variable df. So where is my CSV file? So this salary data.csv, which we have already worked in part two, is my CSV file. Now I have to read this as a data frame. Let's do it. So how we can do it? pd.read csv function and you have to uh, provide a raw path to your csv file, right? So this we have already covered. Now the first function that you can use on your data frame is dot columns, that is df dot columns. So this function is going to give you the number of columns and the columns present in that data frame or your CSV file. So I can see that I am getting a list of two things that is years of experience and salary. So these two are the columns of my data frame, right? Now the next thing is df dot shape. I hope you are clear with this df dot columns. It is just a simple thing. It gives you a list of the columns. Now the next thing is df dot shape. It basically going to give you the rows and columns. So it is giving you a tuple of rows comma columns. So I can see in my CSV file that it is uh, that it consists of 30 rows and two columns. So 30 comma two. Perfect. Now what is the difference between this df dot shape and this df dot size? df dot size basically gives you the number of cells in your uh, data frame or your CSV file or your Excel file, right? So how many cells will be there? 13 to 2, 60 cells, right? So size gives you the cells, shapes give you a tuple of rows comma columns, simple. Now let's come to some of the important functions. These, these were just the basic functions which just give you the idea of the dimensions of your data frame, right? Now let's dive deeper into our data frame. So df.head is the first function df.head gives you the first five rows. So it tells you how your data set is going to look like, right? So if I am running this df.head, I'm getting a good idea that it is that it consists of two columns, years of experience and salary, and all my data is in float 64 type, right? So I can see that all the data is in float. And if you are not providing anything in this, curly, in this uh, circular brackets, then it is going to give you only the five uh, rows, first five rows. But you can also give your own number Right, so I can see that I am giving df dot head two. So it is going to give me the first two rows. I can see it over here, first two rows. Right. I hope it is clear. So we have seen df dot head. Right. Now let's say I want to see the last five rows. So you can use df dot tail function. So this function is going to give you the last five rows. Right. And here also you can give your own number. So let's say I give it eight df dot tail eight, and now it is going to give you the last eight rows of your data. I hope you are with me till here till now. And the next thing is df.describe. Don't worry, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to do a quick recap of all the functions. So if you are missing something, I'm going to get back to that. Right. So df.describe, it basically gives you the description of the numerical data. So already my all the columns are uh, numeric. So I'm what I'm going to get in the df.describe, I'm going to get the basic functions, basic mathematical things like count. How many uh, rows are there? So 30, 30 rows, right? Mean, what is the mean uh, years of experience? So I can, I'm getting a good uh, result from this uh, df.describe function that average years of experience is 5.3 years and average salary of all the employees is 76,000. Perfect. Now this gives you the standard deviation. This gives you the minimum. So minimum years of experience of an employee is 1.1 and the minimum salary that an employee is getting is 37,000. Now 25%, 50%, 70% and the max. Maximum years of experience is 10.5 years. Maximum salary that a person is getting is this thing, right? So I hope you are uh, familiar. Now you uh, have a good knowledge about df.describe function, right? Now the next function, which looks a bit same like description, but it is totally different. That is df.info. It gives you again the basic idea of your data frame, right? So it is giving me 30 entries. Perfect. Now 0 to 29. Now it is giving me the years of experience. Now it is also giving me that all the values, all the cells are filled with non-null, right? So we have we have already seen what is a null value, right? So it gives me that all the values that are present in my data frame are not null. So all 30 values are non-null and all the values are of float 64 type. So it is it gives me this kind of uh, information, right? Now the next thing, now the next thing is let's dive deeper into a different type of CSV file that is having some complex data. 
so the different or the another data frame is this restaurant data so it is giving me the rank of that restaurant and name of that restaurant and content and as you can see it is containing a lot of null values also like this and others are also there right so it gives me sales then this thing then units then what is the meaning of this why why i also don't know then segment category so what kind of service this restaurant is providing so this is the general uh, csv file and i have to convert it into data frame so i am going to create a new variable that is df2 and i am going to read this csv file now first thing i am going to do is df.head so i want to get a, a good idea of my data frame right so it is giving me the first five rows of my data frame right now the next thing i am doing is df.shape i want to get a good idea of the dimensions of my data frame so i am getting that 250 rows are there and nine types of columns are there now i want to see how many null values are there so i am i can run df.info and i can see that 33 non null values are there that means all the rest values are null values here only 52 values are non null that means rest of the values are null values so i am getting idea that my data set does contain null values right so i have to remove that remove those null values so this is the significance of this df.info function now the next thing is i am going to do a description that is df.describe function and it is going to give me the description of the numeric data so the numeric columns are rank sales and units rest of the columns are not numeric they are string data type string uh, columns right so i am getting a that maximum count is 250 then minimum uh, mean rank is 125 mean sales that the average sales is 1 to 4 to average units is 850 maximum uh, sales is 4 40412 and the maximum units is this thing so here uh, using all these functions we have got a very good uh, knowledge about our data frame right without doing some uh, complicated analysis of the data we have got a very good idea of our data frame now if you want to uh, if you are not clear with anything you can uh, uh, stay here and otherwise if you have understood everything then you can skip the rest of the part of this video because i am going to do a quick revision okay so first of all i am going to import pandas as pd then i am going to read my csv file then the first thing that we see is the df.columns which gives you the names of all the columns present in a data frame then it gives you the df.shape that means the number of rows and number of columns then it gives you the then it gives you the size that is the number of cells in your data frame then the df.head gives you the first five rows data of your data frame as we can see first five rows are given then df.head 2 that means only two rows i want first two rows like this we can get the ending part of our data frame that is using df.tail it gives you the last five rows as in the same way you can provide your own number of rows so df.tail 8 will give the last eight rows then df dot describe uh, is uh, only works on the numeric data so it gives me the general mathematical things about my numeric data like this now df dot info uh, gives me some information about my data frame like uh, how many non -null, non null values are there how many columns are there how many entries are there like this now we have uh, uh, taken another csv file and we have read it as data frame and we have uh, saved this data frame in df dot df2 variable that is another variable and now first thing i am running the df dot head that is first five rows to get a basic idea of the data set then we have run the df dot shape then we have run df dot info uh, which gives you the information about your data frame and the next thing is df dot description that gives you the uh, description of your numeric data so i hope you like this video and till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot